Before we installed this dryer, when dry season came, we found it very difficult to dry paddy. Sometimes we harvest 300 cavans of paddy, but they just rot because the paddy could not be dried, especially during continuous rains. When we all dry at the same time, the multi-purpose dryer cannot accommodate all of our grains. So if you want to dry, you have to wait until the others are finished. More often than not, your grain will germinate before you even get to dry them. Mike and Addy used to dry their paddy under the sun, like millions of Asian farmers do. Sun drying is cheap and environment friendly, but it has its limitations. It is not possible during overcast days and at night and, with unpredictable weather these days, farmers are forced to store their grains longer and to delay drying. Sun drying is difficult, with more wet grains coming from intensified production, as more farmers harvest an additional rice crop during the wet season. The rise of combine harvesters that can harvest more paddy simultaneously in countries such as Cambodia has also made sun drying a challenge. It is labor intensive and requires manual stirring for grains to dry uniformly. Because the temperature is hard to control during sun drying, grains may crack and they will have low milling quality. Laid out in roads and exposed, sun dried grains are usually contaminated with dirt and stones. They can also be infested with fungi. These fungi can produce poisonous substances such as mycotoxins. Delayed, incomplete, or ineffective drying is the main reason for the deterioration of rice seed and grain. When paddy is harvested, its moisture content is usually at 20 to 25 percent. The quality of wet paddy worsens immediately after harvest. The wetter the grain, the faster the loss of quality. To prevent quality from deteriorating, paddy should be dried to 14% or less within 24 hours after harvest. One way to dry paddy but maintain high grain quality and reduce losses is by using mechanical dryers. An advanced type of mechanical dryer is a recirculating batch dryer, which is used in large rice mills and processors. However, this type of dryer is expensive because it has many moving parts that need to be serviced and it often uses expensive kerosene for heating the drying air. The simplest and most affordable type of mechanical dryer is the flatbed dryer. Because of its simple design, in which the drying air moves through the grain in one direction from bottom to top, there is an even drying, with faster drying happening at the air inlet. Dryer users can mix the grain halfway through drying to minimize the moisture difference. To address the problem of uneven drying using the flatbed dryer, the Philippine Rice Research Institute, or PhilRice, together with Nong Lam University in Vietnam, worked to construct a modified version of the flatbed dryer, the reversible airflow flatbed dryer. The reversible dryer has four main components. The drying bin, the reversible air chamber, the blower, and the furnace.
heated air from the furnace is sucked by the blower and forced through the grain mass. Once drying begins, heated air moves up, drying the grain and absorbing moisture. During this phase, there is slight over-drying at the bottom and less drying at the top because the drying air absorbs water from the grain on its way up in the grain bulk and has less drying capacity when it reaches the upper layer. After two-thirds of the drying period, the direction of the heated air will be reversed, forcing the air down and drying the grains from the top going down. The wetter part on the top of the grain bulk is now dried more intensively and the bottom layer is dried less. The result is a more even moisture content across the grain bulk at the end of drying, leading to higher grain quality. In the Philippines, these dryers are now installed in Quirino, Nueva Ecija, and Bukidnon, and at fill rice stations in Isabela, Nueva Ecija, Los Baños, Negros, Agusan, Central Mindanao University, and Mid Sayap. Ang field rice, nagbibigay kami ng technical assistance doon sa mga... Field rice gives technical assistance to those who are interested, such as farmers groups and irrigators associations, who can put up funds to establish the dryer. We can give them blueprints and help them in constructing the dryer because this equipment has critical parts. the Post-Harvest Learning Alliance initiated by the International Rice Research Institute and Phil Rice, farmers such as Mike Aquino and the Gamapaka Cooperative were able to install reversible airflow dryers in their communities. Now, they are reaping the benefits. Wala akong nasisirang nung katulad nung nakaraan. None of my grains are damaged unlike before. Not a single cavan. All of my grains are dried very well because even if there's a storm, the drying operation continues. Even if it rains day and night, the grain will be dry. So, ang nakayo kay ang the benefit is that in terms of milled rice, there is higher recovery compared with sun drying. Ibulad sa adlaw. Hindi unlike ng mga ibang this is unlike other flatbed dryers that cause grains to smell like smoke or steamed fish and give bad tasting rice. It's true, I'm not just praising this. Even the commercial rice millers, they like this dryer. They say the rice does not smell and has good quality. Unlike a traditional flatbed dryer, the reversible airflow dryer has a fly ash separator that prevents the ash from mixing with the grain, resulting in clean, smoke-free grains. The big change I have seen in the community is that the expenses incurred by farmers are lesser now. Pagdating na rainy season, marami. Another benefit is that I get a lot of farmers and commercial rice millers to dry here during the rainy season. Nakikipag-dry din dito. Ibig sabihin, kumikita po rin ako ng additional income. It means I have added income aside from producing seeds. Yun ang, yun ang benefits, kumikita pa rin. With the flatbed dryer, drying takes only 8 hours overnight. In the morning, drying is done. 
ma pagka kasi ma madali lang ang processing pagpapatuyo. If drying time is short, more time is available to do other things, such as finding other means of livelihood. That is what happens. There is more time for the family. I also hear other farmers who have not tried it say, I will use that next time because it is better. They say that they want more of this the reversible airflow flatbed dryer, so that more farmers can use it at the same time, particularly during rainy days. The current dryer is not enough. So itong reversible dryer, ito yung isang... The reversible dryer is a technology that, if used properly, can produce high-quality dried paddy. I hope that our farmers will use this so that our rice production can be improved for global competitiveness. No single technology can solve all the problems of rice drying, but a reversible dryer is an all-weather, low-labor option for producing better quality rice.